Okay, ladies and gents, welcome back. I am still brewing, and today is day 15 of the Bohemian Blonde Pills uh, lager that we're brewing. Uh, so today is kegging day. Uh, a few things we're going to need. We're going to take the hydrometer reading just to see what it's uh, finished at. We're going to be siphoning it into our keg or your second vessel, whether you're bottling it. Today we're kegging. Uh, I've got the mesh bag that's been sterilised. That's going to help prevent any hops or further things coming through into the keg uh, and the siphon tube itself. So what I did there was I've siphoned from the sterilised tub, this is all sterilised water, into the keg, give it a good swirl round and then I've allowed that to dry out. So everything we're going to use in this video is now sterilised. So the next thing to do is get the lid off this uh, beer and I'll show you how it's looking. Now if you remember, I was heating this, so again, I have already unplugged the heater. Make sure you do that a good 15-20 minutes if you're going to do this, uh, and that way it's not going to burn out when you take it out. So, let's take a look inside. So, this is the beer. It doesn't look lovely right now, but it smells good and I'm sure it's going to taste delicious. Um, this is my sanitised tool I was telling you about. There's also a cable tie in there which I'm sanitising because I will use that to hold the bag on the end of the siphon tube so that doesn't come off. Uh, so the next job is to take a hydrometer reading. Okay, yeah, so that's coming out at 1008. If you watched <clears throat> the last video, we started at 1054, so that should give us roughly about just over 6%, 6 percent, 6.4 ish. So, not a bad beer at all. So, what we'll do now is we'll prep the siphon tube. Which is this, which as I say is all sterilised, it's been sat in there. And we've got the, the mesh bag from the Chinook IPA that we did, which again has been sanitised and we're going to pop that on the end. And I'm going to use a sanitised cable tie just to help hold that on. Because if it does come off, we're going to have to do it all over again. and I'll tie the, the knot on the bag as well. Okay, there we go. That goes in there. Now unfortunately I don't have a, a fancy siphon pumps so it is going to have to be a, a bit of a suck job. Here we go. Lovely. So the aim is when you're doing this is that you want that hose right at the bottom of your keg or your barrel so that way you're not introducing lots more oxygen into it. Okay, so whilst that's siphoning, we're going to add the priming sugar and it says to dissolve it in just some hot water. So I've got a small bit of hot water there, can always add more, but we'll start off with less. And by adding this to the, the keg, this is going to start off a secondary fermentation kind of, and it's just going to carbonate the beer inside the keg. Oh, 
Okay, that's gently added in. As this continues to siphon, it's just going to slowly mix that in as well, so we don't need to worry about stirring it or anything like that. And as it gets closer to the bottom, I'm going to keep my eye on the siphon tube, um, just to make sure I don't suck up any sediment that I don't need else in there. So there we go, that is the very last of the DS siphoned out. There is very minimal left, so that's a that's a good haul for me, I like that. So the last thing for me to do is remove the trusted clamp. And the last bit dry now. And I'll just show you this end. So as you can see, it's just an upside down cap. The beer will drain in there and up the tube and this will stop the sediment from going in. So that's that done. And there we have one full barrel of beer ready to start its second carbonation. Now this is the cap for the barrel, in sanitizing as well. That goes on there. And that wants to be as tight as you can get it because you don't want any of that carbonation escaping, otherwise you're just going to have a flat beer. I've also got some small CO2 charges uh, and as I start to, to take liquid from this barrel we said the pressure is going to drop and it's going to need topping back up again to make sure there's that good head of carbonation there so a good head of CO2 so these cartridges simply pushing onto there you have a little clamp which will screw it down and it just injects that little bit of CO2 um, You'll start to notice that the beer will start pulling flat if it's uh, if it's not got enough CO2 in it. So that's what they're for. I've got uh, 10 of those to go at. I'm going to now take that inside into the house and let it sit for a couple of weeks just to warm up and let that secondary fermentation start up. Uh, and it will also start to clear in the barrel as well. And I should be able to see the sediment building up here. However... I am interested just to see how it's tasting. So you can see obviously it's, it's hazy uh, and flat. A nice colour to it though. Rather nice, that's, uh, and that's finished and fully carbonated, that's going to be, uh, lovely on a summer's day. Mm. <clears throat> so, in a couple of weeks I'm going to do some more videos, I'm going to record the review of the Chinook IPA beer that we did, and I will also review this Bohemian Blonde Pills, and I'll let you know uh, how they're tasting. And I think for today, guys, that is everything. Um, the sugar wash, which you can just see up here, is also finished today. So I'm going to do another video now, uh, just showing the fining process on that. So uh, tune in and catch that video if that's something you're interested in as well. And if there's anything else that you, uh, you're you not sure about or you want me to do a video on, drop a, a comment down below and I will I'll get on with it. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Take care.